name's Bond. James Bond. Watch this video till the end if you want to see some scenes from actual places that this movie took place. Now, I played this game from Scientific Games in the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. And as promised, here are some scenes of uh, some actual places that uh, the James Bond movie Casino Royale was uh, filmed at. And the first one was at this uh, villa. It's on Lake Como. The villa is Villa del Balbianallo. And I hope I pronounced that something close to what it should be. It's uh, on Lake Como. It's near the town of uh, Leno, and it's across the way from Bellagio, which uh, you might recognize as a name that the uh, casino in Las Vegas took its uh, name from. Now, you might remember a scene where James Bond was recuperating after a big battle, and he was sitting on this lawn. And you might remember that there was a, uh, a large tree with a uh, very rounded shape. And that tree turns out to be hand clipped to that shape. And there's a, a staff of gardeners, some of them have been there for uh, many, many years, that uh, do that. And they do it by hand. Now this is looking at that tree from a different angle from the one that you see in the movie. And you got to see a little bit of the, uh, the lake that surrounds this area. Now this villa was donated to an organization that now maintains the property, but if you're going to visit it, check the schedule to make sure that it's open. 
Now, the ending scenes of the Casino Royale movie were in Venice, Italy, and this is the casino in Venice, Italy. And you can go in there, but you have to pay 10 euro uh, if you want to go into the casino itself. Also, uh, be properly dressed and be prepared to show your passport. You're going to need that to get in. And here is a little bit more of the uh, main canal. But if you're going to visit Venice, I recommend highly that you go to the nearby island of Murano. And that's where they uh, do a lot of the glass blowing and uh, other kinds of glass art. It's well worth the visit, and it's not as crowded uh, and touristy as the uh, main Venice island. Now, I would recommend that you stay at least uh, three evenings if you're visiting Venice, and that gives you enough time to walk around the, uh, the main part of Venice as well as the uh, island of Murano, and you can see various different things in the evening as well. For example, you can listen to a concert of Vivaldi's Four Seasons, or uh, perhaps you can take uh, in an opera. And if you're going to uh, be eating, don't uh, go eat in the uh, main tourist areas. Try to explore the uh, area and uh, seek out some of the uh, restaurants which are outside of the uh, main tourist area. I think you'll really enjoy that experience much better. Ciao! Thank you for watching. Please subscribe so you won't miss a video. And visit our website to learn more about slots and casinos. If you like this video, please give it a like and we'll also answer your questions and comments.